vanishing lightweight contender and former Bellator champion Iron Michael Chandler. He said when he signed with the UFC, Daniel, he was not here for a long time, but a good time. And been a darn good time thus far seeing Michael Chandler compete the big show. It's been a good time for us. I don't understand how he's having fun when he's involved in those types of fights. But this guy is an absolute beast. I mean, he is a forward pressure face first fighter and those are always the ones that we enjoy michael chandler has the ability to just take it out but he'll prefer to punch you in the face let's see how many he goes let's see how many he can land tonight as he steps to the octagon and again. plus athlete doesn't even begin to describe it let's see how it goes for michael chandler in another big spot tonight. being applied here as he works out of side control. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? He passes the half. Oliveira's back into full guard. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Chandler's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh my goodness, that Darce choke is very tight. Darce choke locked in, it's only a matter of time. 
but he cannot rush. He's got to control his opponent so that he doesn't lose him in the scramble. Stay out of that dark show. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, he got to his spot. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Under two minutes to go in the round. All oh, right to the mount. All right, setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. Oh, looks tight to me. Goes the Charles Oliveira, you win by submission. Oh, 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 my goodness. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. Now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Charles the Bronx Oliveira! All right, Buff, thank you very much. And there it is yet again, Charles Oliveira adding to his submission total here with the win tonight. New Bronx Charles Oliveira, the moment the fight hits the floor, you are constantly under attack once again. As he has done on so many occasions, Charles Oliveira submits his opponent and gets